Hey, all right. This is the uh, the first episode of Back Porch Stories, which is our new podcast. We're starting up here in Laredo uh, for for the comics and the uh, just people that like to hang out and have a good time. Uh, my name is George. I'll be your host, and uh, you can find me on Twitter, on Snapchat. It's uh, J A L V Z zero two. It's the same on both, and you can find us on Facebook at Laredo Funny or hashtag us at uh, Laredo Funny. It's, it's, it's the way you spell it, all right? Don't be stupid about it. Uh, I'm here tonight for the first episode. We're going to try this out and see how things go. Uh, my co-host for this uh, Backboard Stories will actually be uh, my main man, my neighbor right here, Mr. J.R. Your host is messing with his phone. What's up, dude? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what my handle is on Facebook. What, who are you on Facebook? I, I apparently I am Jr. Riojas. Jr. Riojas on oh, yeah. Facebook. Okay, cool. Yeah. Got you. And uh, Twitter. What you got on Twitter? I don't think I have Twitter. No, nope. no. Do you have Twitter? Yeah. Uh, what do you, I, you don't I, think you have it? I don't think I don't, it's not on my phone. Um, no, I think I, you, I, I shoot birds. I don't. You I don't tweet about them. Okay, wait. You didn't download the app. You just you. It may or may not be on your it, phone. Yeah, Th- these things are kind of complicated now. But I don't know. I don't think it's there. What? No little birds on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. The guy right. laughing to his right, your left right there, local comic, uh, Mr. Steven Sosa, funny motherfucker, he's a good dude, I love him. Mr. Sosa. Mr. Sosa, what do you got here? What's up? Mr. Sosa's my father. <laughs> no, no, that's cool. You can call me Mr. Sosa, dude. I, I'm a tiny Sosa. Dude. That sounds tiny. wrong in every way. He's tiny, tiny Sosa. All right, tiny yeah. Sosa. Tiny what? Sosa. Yeah. I know. You know, All right, time is up. And, 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 <laughs> and for the uh, the listening and viewing audience, where, the, where can they where can they find you? Fuck, I'm fucking signing uh, my words. Where can I'm they on find Facebook. you on Facebook and Twitter? You can get me on Facebook. I don't have a Twitter. I do, but I don't know how to use it. I'm not good at Twitter. Okay. I suck at Twitter. I can't um, be limited to 140. Characters. I try, like, but all like, right. Uh, so we have the have, technologically have disadvantaged on this episode of. Uh, yeah, I do have an, I do have an Instagram. It's, it's Instagram. It's, okay. Pictures. Of your food, pictures, gotcha. Pictures my, a lot of food. Dick pics, gotcha. Uh, there's no dick pics. Not today. That's a yeah. shame. Don't visit him on Instagram, then. If he's like, there's nothing fun happening. That's the only thing you get him on Snapchat. Snapchat. Okay. <laughs> All right, Snapchat. Yeah, who are who are you on Snapchat? I'm Stephen. Is the shit. I'm right. I get to laugh every time. Uh, What's the spelling on that? I know you're not the world's greatest speller. I'm, I'm just not, it's, but I know it's Steven, and it is. Is it Steven? I D- thought it was Steve. Steven, as it's with the V I V E N. V I E N. Okay, even. gotcha. Steven, even. All right, um, welcome to the first episode of Spelling with Stevo. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so you're basically having my name uh, with is and D A and then shit. Okay, I am fucking confused right now. I don't I know if the beer has been kicking man. in or what, but that was a lot of talking for very little information. Duh, shit. You know, Stephen is Stephen is <laughs> still going. <laughs> All right, okay. So uh, Stephen is the with a D, uh, the shit at. Uh, well, there you go. You can find him on on, on Twitter. If you want to get Snapchat? I mean, I really I. All right, basically for the listening like viewers, comedy. all you have to know is hashtag Laredo Funny. Find us on Facebook at Laredo Funny, and you get access to all the comics and stuff, and uh, all the guests we're gonna have on the show. So uh, let's get things going. First of all, I'm gonna ask you for your plugs real quick. Uh, Laredo Comics, we're doing a bunch of shows around town. Uh, the one I really, really want to stress is uh, June 23rd, which will actually be this Thursday. Average Joe's, AJ's Bar, 9652 McPherson Road, $5. It's a measly $5 to get you into the show. You're going to get a great night of great fucking comedy. It'll be myself, Miss uh, Miss uh, Gabriela Tejerina, uh, Mario Superstar Salazar, and Ponchi Herrera. Hey, four great comics for the price. A five bucks. Go check it out. Don't be a cheap ass. Yeah, Four great comments for the price of one. It's gonna be good. That time. sounds <laughs> very thrifty and discount store. So I'm not. We I'm not gonna phrase it that in way. Laredo. Okay, five bucks. Oh, that's all. Gonna, that's all you need to get in and uh, check so out this show. Four great comics. Right. And uh, if you haven't seen these people, they're uh, they're hilarious. It's a pleasure for me to work with them. Uh, real quick, couple of upcoming shows. Uh, Cold Brew May 29th will be there. So go ahead and check us out. If you miss us at uh, at AJ's on the 23rd. Uh, catch the 29th will be a cold brew, and uh, uh, in the future, on the Rocks Tavern downtown, uh, July 21st, we'll go ahead and be on out there. A bunch of good comics: uh, Mr. Steven Sosa, uh, Alex Vela, myself, uh, J. R. Riojas, uh Aaron Suarez. So go ahead and check that out. It's gonna be a really, really good show. But for now, the big one: June 23rd. Mark your calendars. It's gonna be uh, 9652 McPherson Road. 
AJ's, the unusual suspects comedy show, myself, Gabby DiGirino, Mario Superstar, and Ponchiera. So, Steve-O, uh, plugs, what do you got coming up? Uh, I got uh, Brownsville. I'm going to be at the Brownsville, Texas, at The Bar. The Bar? It's, that's what it's called. It's the Bar. A Bar. Not hey. A Bar. The Bar. The Bar. Gotcha. Hey, yeah. you, you're going to be, it's, 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 I haven't been there. It's the first time I'm going to be there. Okay. And I, I'm just excited to, to be a part of it, man. You know. And how's that gonna go? Like, are you like, are you pumped up for that oh, one? I'm pumped or? up, man. I got we got some great comics, man. We got Sonia Trevino. We got Omar. Uh, I think it's I. You know, you I, 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 okay. I tell you too that I didn't I didn't know their names that well. So I yeah. have. <laughs> nah, but I mean, like, it's gonna be a great one, especially with Mar uh, Mario Salazar. Oh, there you go, superstar. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. So Mr. superstar, Rod Mr. Rodriguez, got Mr. Omar Maddie. Rodriguez. I was hanging out with Omar last time at the Valley, man. It was a great show. I, I was there at the Cine El Rey. Good the show. What? The what? Cine El Rey. I think I just said Cine it right. Cine El Rey. El Rey. Cine. Not the Cine, Cine El Rey. Yeah, kind of I said Cine El Rey. <laughs> Cine El Rey, gotcha. That was a Some great show. weird old dude. Okay, no. Cine El Rey in, uh, in McAllen, right? Yeah, man. Okay, cool. It's going to be a good show. Now, All right, Jared, any plugs? You now any shows coming up? Now I'm looking at different. Um, I know I'm going to try to come in on... One or two of those shows, the 21st. You're going to crash the party. You're like, I'm just, like, party. Party. I'm I'm just here, guys. I'm going to be in like, there, guys. I'm just, just going to kind of be there, and I'm going to show up. I was like, oh, you got a spot? Yeah, fuck it, I'll do it. I'll yeah, do, I'll I'm going to put this here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, cool. So there we go. Those are our guests uh, my, Our guests for today. The first half, it's a two-parter show today. And uh, Steven Sosa, my, my co-host, JR, here with us. And uh, basically, the, the gist of this podcast, it's a storytelling podcast. I don't know why I went into a Peter Brady voice, but it's a storytelling <laughs> podcast. And uh, like we're gonna go and just, and just tell fun stories about growing up, you know, uh, and uh, we'll just rip. Looking on. at your belly button the first looking. time, uh, is that that's not growing up stuff? <laughs> I remember looking at my belly button the first time. I was okay, like, there it look, is. First off, I I hate belly buttons. I hate my belly button. They they work, they fucking weird me out. Okay, has anybody it's, ever put like cereal? Like 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 Jesus Christ, thing? it's getting weird now. Okay. Like you put like a little, like you put like one Oreo in there, like a, or is it like a Cheerio? How big is your belly button that an Oreo fits in there? <laughs> I would never say Oreo. I, I was supposed to say Cheerio. You said Oreo. Cheerio, no, you, no, you went okay, Oreo. Guys, you I, have, I have a big belly button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It kind of got a little stretched out. Okay, now we're just talking about big belly buttons. <laughs> I don't want to do a big belly button story. Let's let's move on. <laughs> All right, okay. So it is a storytelling podcast, and I do want to ask you about a certain thing that happened to you. Uh, South Padre Island and oh, yeah, something yeah. about swingers. Oh, what's yeah. swingers? Well, what the hell's that? You, not the movie. Do you know? Do you and, know? And do you know what swingers? Do you guys know what swingers are? They're they're uh, uh, an elite group apparently. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. <laughs> like, like they're, they're I've never heard it described yeah, that way, but okay. Apparently, they all they all know together that they all like you know. There's either couples or there's regular just people that just want to just you know like hey. You want to, you know, like you put, have fun. put the put the keys in the in the in the punch bowl thing, but they like when they, when you meet the couples. I met a couple. I met a couple swingers, and like like apparently the guy was like, I asked the guy, I was like, hey dude, like are you guys like what are you guys? He's like, I'm not gay or anything. I was like, well thank God, you know. Like, <laughs> he, I was like, you like, did the ugliest gay guy like I've ever 100% seen. Hundred percent, he relaxed. Oh that. dude, like I, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's like, I just want you to fuck my wife. I was like, and then you have those moments. That's a like, straight out request. So you yeah. Don't just, you're not you're not beating around the bush with that one. You're yeah. you're coming straight out. And, like, no, no. and then like and the wife was like in the beginning before the, the like I was like I'm not gonna go and just talk to this. Wait, lady but out what of was she doing? Was she in the was, or she was like, there in the club like and when we showed up and she wanted us. She was like, my "Who's new, we?" Well, I was with my family. Okay. I was, I was, <laughs> Whoa, okay, yeah, no shed. That was all a right, so memorable family vacation. All right, yeah. so you're, you're two, of, two right. of my cousins and their, and their husbands. All right, and so the Griswolds went to SPI. Yeah, yeah, got yeah, you, like. <laughs> but dude, like we, we we got there. The girl wanted us to sit with them. We're like, "No, we're good," and we moved away. And I was like, "Man, that girl was hot." Like, and I was okay. like, my dad. I was like, "But dad, you're still drinking with like your dad." Yeah, and yeah. Like, I just told my dad, "I go, Dad, that girl's hot. I want to go talk to her." He's like, Steven, she's with somebody. Was he giving you tips on how, like, he or, just was, me, or was he cautioning you? He, that's you know, weird. He that's a weird story. Like, Steven, she's with her husband. Don't do that. I go, that's why I'm going to wait till she goes <laughs> to the bathroom, uh, and I'm going to talk to her. Okay, all right. Which I did. Like, I, she, the guy went to the bathroom. I went out to her. I was like, hey, you're hot. And she was like, oh, my God, you should hang out with me and my husband. I was like. Red flag. Yeah, I was like, no, I'm going to go to the bathroom, but you're hot, you know. And I kept. I, <laughs> you winked at her. Tell I, me you winked I at her. I kept no, hard the about wink you're hot gun. thing. Oh, the, the wink, wink and the gun. Yeah, yeah. double trouble. Okay, got you. Yeah. I, I didn't do that. 
I should have done it. Yeah, I should have. I should have. It would have been better for the story if I would have done. You pulled out the six shooter and only went one. I came back from the bathroom. I shoot once a night. That's it. Like, that's as far as I go. It that's takes funny. time to reload this when it's like a musket or what was it? Like. But I came back from the bathroom, dude. Like, I was like, the, the guy was there. You dusted like, that shit I, off. I know. I was like, we don't need that. Uh, okay. All right. Guy, okay. I came back from the bathroom. The guy was look, like, the husband was looking at me, and he he waved me. And he he waved me down. You. He, he waved me down. You. He was like, hey, come here. And I was like, this is gonna be fun. And then I, was he I, gonna, the, the, did you did you ever think that he was gonna kick your ass? Like, did you think it was? I gonna really be like, thought like he was gonna be like, "Hey, we you, you talking about why are you like, ogling my I wife?" Was, yeah, why? And basically, why are you ogling my wife? That's not cool, bro. And I was like, I thought it was gonna happen. I was like, nope. I, I was like, I, I walked up to the guy. Was like, like in rumble mode, dude. The guy, I, I was already like, let's do it. Let's face the music. My dad's gonna be like, you know, he's gonna get mad at me. <laughs> I was like, the first thing I was thinking, it, it goes like a, like a pop my video dad was right in your yeah. head. Yeah, no, I just fucking, I didn't care. <laughs> I fucking, I, I walked up and the guy was like, hey, take some shot with us. Take some shots with us. And I was like, plural, multiple shots. I was like, and I didn't know what to do. And the girl, and like the wife was getting excited. Like, I'm going to go get the whipped cream vodka we have in the, in the in our room. And I was like, she went upstairs and that's when I looked at the guy. I was like, hey, are you guys swingers or... And then, oh, like, okay. you know, like, it took to that point for it to yeah. click. Like, whipped cream vodka and was the guy's the key. Like, and the guy was like, yeah. And I was like, oh. The, the official drink of yeah, fucking official, swingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. All right. It was great, though, dude. Like, the guy was like, no, we're cool. I just like, I'm not. Some in my he's like, yeah. <laughs> That's when the guy was giving me the okay. And I was like, all right. So, dude, that, that, that was the craziest fucking elevator ride ever in my life. Just there with a couple Was of, like, it, like, uncomfortable? Because was it? They, they did play. They were, they were, they were playing, like, do, 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 do. So, so, so did, you just, did you just go up or like up and, and so, down? Yeah, up and okay, down, wait. Down, so it was so down. funny. So you're in the elevator <laughs> and, and you're was, not. No one's fooling around with anyone. You're just literally standing there like it's a business there. meeting. She like, had whipped cream vodka. I think she put it in my mouth a little bit, but that was it. And the guy was just there, but I was like, the girl from Ipanema. I was just like dipping out. The music was so slow. I was I, How, I, wait, what floor were you on? How long was that elevator ride? I, I don't know if you're ever in the Padre, but they had like they have, like it's like the mall. What does that have to do with elevators? It used to be the mall and then it became It used a, to be the mall. Yeah, it was the mall. That was their mall and then they made it to a, a hotel. Nice. It's Alright, okay. I remember it's that. There. I, I remember, remember that? I remember, you were there for I remember that. when it was the mall and then it just okay. sh- the economy went to shit. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, All right. right. But like the thing is like like, like that's why like when we went to the room, I was like, it was a nice room though there. Like, you know, they had like that we can't, we it can't was, get 10. It was a nice room. It was a nice room. It was a nice room. And then they had a bag of condoms. That was awesome. How big was the bag? Yeah. That big? Yeah. How uh, many condoms were in there? A couple hundred? Two, a, two big ones. Two big ones. When I was there, two big ones. Body size condoms. It was big, dude. I was like, this thing weighs a lot. It's like, whoa. Yeah. It's like 40 pounds of latex right there. What the fuck? <laughs> there, it was crazy, dude. Like, like I was like, I was part of a, like, uh, I, I was part of this. That in. Apparently, I was part of their, their, their normal sex. Like, and it was great. I, she was hot, dude. Like when she showed me her tits, I felt like weeping. Oh, what she looked like? <laughs> How tall? What, what did we look at? Like blonde hair? What brown? But I say she was brunette. like five, like, like five, years five, old. No, five eight. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! No. Stop with the. Stop. 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 All right, no, that was that, that was your joke. I was going with. That was, that was, that was weird, and we don't need these lives. Yeah, All right, okay, okay. So uh, five. She was, she was, she was, she was just like a hot, like a hot librarian. Okay. Brunette. Oh. Yeah, kind of like milky white skin. Oh, okay. Nice. And did very you, slender. Did you get in trouble because you turned in the book leaked. Exactly. Like that, she that, had those that rulers, that She slaps you. Fun. Yeah. Fun to Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, uh, like, I don't know why they got me to right. say that. There you go. So, like, when like, she was very, like, and then, like, she invited me up, dude, like, the girl, like, and it was funny, because I was already, like, I'm wasted. Like, I think I was, like, I got my little wiggler, and I'm, like, it's not going anywhere. Wiggler? Wait, wiggler. what? What's that's a wiggler? Wiggler. That's my penis wiggler. that has Isn't no... Isn't that bait? That's, that's my fishing. What is that? Fishing? You mean, like, cougar fishing? Well, or, no? You, cougar. You went, you went fishing with your wiggler? I said penis with no blood. There you go. All right, okay. So, okay, where are we with the story? <laughs> so, you're in the room. Are you in the room? We're in the, well, we're in the room. And I was Who's like, doing what? Because well, this girl, sounds fishy as yeah, fuck, yeah, dude. Yeah, like, I, I was already like, like, what's gonna happen? And like, like the girl blew me. Who would have thought, right? Uh, <laughs> Who would have such a thing? Who would have thought? Is there like blow blow or like? Uh, oh no, oh. she wasn't blowing like out of candles. Oh. <laughs> she was not. Apparently, she was, it was a small birthday candle. 
Um, <laughs> well, his dick did have a wick coming out of the fucking hole, was, so I don't it was, know. It was like, wiggly. It was wiggly. I don't know. Nah, but like it was like uh, at first it was cool, like you know she was going at me, and then like the the guy the husband came out and he was just like he was ready to go. He what was, was he wearing? Like, fucking Wait, who was he ready to go on? Fucking get uh, mask you really want to know? Nah, right. nah he, was, he was he was all out. Did you yeah. catch he a stabbing like, or was it just man. her? <laughs> Cabin, stabbing cabin. Yeah. That's what it was. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah, we're here. We go. But like, dude, it was cool. Like, it was good. It was a good time. <laughs> like, it was a good time. Like, yeah, I, I did the first time ever. I did the Eiffel Tower. I'm like, uh, you held hands with a guy? We didn't held hands. We high five. I'm pretty sure you held hands. Yeah. Well, Don't you yeah. have to hold that pose? Yeah. It's like the first well, if you, if you're one. Taking and then a picture. The second, like, all right, let me let if me interlock. If you're taking a picture, you have to hold the pose. Okay, I got you. We were just like, boom. That's like, like we got. I've never done it before. I have to do it. Was there eye contact? No. Yes. Good. <laughs> yes. Was there a selfie involved? Oh, I man. wish. You know, at the you technology, wish? my phone was not that great. Really? Would you have Snapchatted that? If Snapchat was around at the time. Oh. How long Ponder. ago was this? So wait, 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 wait. Was Snapchat been out for like two one. years? So it's How like long ago was this? Ago. When did this happen? Was a while back, dude. I wish that couple... I'm never gonna. They I wish website. I could keep meet website. up with them. I bet you or money I'm on that website. Like I miss them. I bet you money. Like they I wish I had to give them my number, my card. You know, like hey, call me. You know, just you know. All I know is that when I was done, I still got to suck in her tits <laughs> before I left. So you suckled. All right, yeah, got you. Like you breastfed. Yeah. He yeah. turned into a child. You gotta fuck <laughs> and a meal out of it. Okay, okay. got you. Like, mammograms. You fuck <laughs> fuck <laughs> me, feed me, get the fuck out. Yeah, got you. Like all right. He breastfed a little bit of milk and he. Out Dude, the funny, the, the funny thing yeah, for me else, was like the man, funny like, thing, I, like for like like after I was done, after I, was, all of this. I had to walk home. I had to walk home to my hotel, and I walked all the how way far, home. Wait, how far you was the walk? Like a, you walked like a whole. Block it was and a half. it was from the mall, the old mall, all the way to the Santa Santa Tower. Okay, I don't. What is that like a block? It's, like, it's like basically blocks, like five. Like, like walk of shame. Okay. Walk of shame. Dude, but I get calling people. I don't. Did you have your sandals in your hand? You know, I was gonna ask, what, were you, what was your footwear? Were you fucking rocking Crocs or what is this? Like, I think I walk, what is the Crocs. walk of shame footwear? Regular sneakers. Sneakers? Sneakers. Nah, sneakers. Nah, that wasn't what? gonna come out right. <laughs> <laughs> you were in your sneakies? <laughs> okay, alright. Uh, that's my sneakies. Sneakies? Sneaky sneakies. Yeah, my girl, my and girl. did your wait, wait, but but you're with her with Every your family, I, right? I just hear like like, like I, my, my girlfriend was like, I don't know if you ever like, have you ever like uh, when you're like with your girlfriend and then you you fart and you shit your pants, and then your girlfriend no, well I, I haven't made that's you. a hot negative. My, my, my girlfriend's like now she calls it juicy poops. Oh god, <laughs> I love that you've done it enough times that she that has a nickname for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Oh, did you juicy poops again? What are you, Aww. fucking four? Like, goddamn. That's so adorable. Aww. Nah, it sucks, though, dude. You can never trust a fart. Every... I don't know if y'all know that. Well, as you I'm trying to fart right now, but I can't. I... trust in those. It's because, you know, like, you have to wait for it. Wait, wait, hold on. If you can't trust did a fart... Did you wink at me while saying like... that? Like, <laughs> what was that? Like, oh, I, was I was like, I was trying to get one out. Yeah. I'm trying to get a squeaker. You know you get those, like, squeaker? You know, like... A sneaker, a squeaker. Sneaker, what are we sneaker, talking sneaker? about? Right, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm not, we were getting okay, all right, okay. All right, so, like so tangent let me ask somewhere. you a question. This this couple, they were they were older, right? They Juicy were like... Poops. Juicy poops. <laughs> they were older, they weren't like, what, like, what are we talking about? Like, 20s, 30s, what, oh, I think they were 60s, probably like how, like, how old? The, the like, dude was in his, like, 40s, probably. The, the, wife, the wife had to be, like, in her 30s. 30, 35, I mean, I'm, like I'm being nice. Don't give a shit. I'm being nice. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. They're more but comfortable in their skin. They're like, uh, yeah. That sounds dirty. Okay. Well, it's because they're, 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 like, they're, like, they're 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 they put on yeah. different yeah. skin on them. Okay. Their, you know. But <laughs> where I'm going with that is that you, you do have kind of a penchant for older women. I've always had. I've, I've always had. Because I remember a story of you got this chick posted up on the side of a Dodge Nitro. Oh, God. And. Was it Dynamite? Uh, well, you it. were convinced that she was 45 or 35, and we were like, she looks a little bit older. I was just happy to know that she... I, I I'm just that. happy she was fucking with me. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she, I guess, because she said she was a lesbian, and I was like, I felt like really? I, you know, I had the chance to turn a lesbian. Oh, like, you're trying to turn her from the dark side? Yeah. Or who or said, that, who said that's the so dark, dark side? side? Is, that, is that PC now? No, 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 no. It's not PC but, anymore. It's but like, I still, oh, like, I try to turn a lesbian. Okay, all right, so... Where was this at? You 
Wow, this is not a great establishment that you're going to be performing at. Uh, June 23rd, that's a Thursday night, 9652 McPherson Road, <laughs> yeah. 9 o'clock, 5 bucks to get in, there's the fucking show right there. Alright, so th this Asian. happened at AJ's. We're going to be flipping switches, apparently, yeah. that night. Yeah. Right. So, so this happened at AJ's, you met an oh, older, no, we, were, we were hanging out older lady that you took. And I, took I, I, I went out and saw this one girl, she was like, hey, like, I'm, and you use that term girl. loosely, girl, she's yeah. The woman. She's the woman, uh, she's, she's woman. experienced. She's she says she's, she's a lesbian, but like, she was with some girl that I that I, I I once slept with, and I was like, "How drunk was she?" Both of them were pretty hammered. Oh. And, and that's that adds a different. Okay, wait. Dynamic. I only remember one girl. What happened to the second one? Where did she go? Where did she disappear to? Well, the thing is, like, like I remember, like the whole time I wanted to get this lesbian, and I was like, I was like, I, I don't know what to do. One of my buddies, like one of my good friends, was like, "Dude, so what? The other girl goes to the bathroom, and get in there." And I was like, "Wow, that's brilliant." Get in where the bathroom. <laughs> Well, I got to wait till the girl goes to the bathroom. So oh, okay, so cause like distraction, yes, then you can hide. Right, okay, got you. All and right. basically, like I was like, it worked out. And the girl, she just fucking, she followed in, gave me her number, and that's when I took her to your place. <laughs> <laughs> you were convinced this girl was thirty-five, and yeah, she was looking closer to fifty. It was the makeup, but she, the makeup. I thought she was at least thirty, thirty-five. I thought thirty-five. You were all giving her that. She was 40 years old. And I was like, all right, what are we going to do? The best, like, the, best was, <laughs> the best was our friend Omar who just decided, Oh yeah. you know what, I'm just going to walk up there and ask. Yeah. So, so no Steve hesitation. Will, Steve was there, and he's got this chick posted up on the side of this truck. Are we really like <laughs> And they're just going at it. They're sucking face. And, and my buddy Omar, and I love the guy, um, he, he starts tapping the girl on the shoulder. He's like, hey. Classic drunk Omar. Hey. Hey. Fuck is he doing? And then we fucking look hey, at him. How old are you? In a Vernon Cock Block. I was like, I was in the middle of making no, looking at him. Not at all. Chick was like 45 and went back to sucking face, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah. I was uh pretty awesome about she, that. Yeah, there you go. You're like, yeah. Yeah, she was sucking on my heart face. Like, I was like, I felt like uh like now nah, you know what? I can't think of it now. Nah. <laughs> He doesn't want I can just think about I can just think about Dyson's and like those things never use suction, <laughs> and that's how she was. Uh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> but Dyson never. Dyson, used proud sponsor of the Back Four Stories. <laughs> All right, thanks, Steve. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, Next podcast we'll be having Dyson's and we'll be right, making no them in back four. Yeah. yeah. There All we right. Go. Okay. Wait, wait. No. wait was it the right one with the ball? Oh, it was with Jesus your ball. Oh, now we're now just getting into detail. I don't know. I don't know. Big orange don't worry ball. about. Oh fuck! Big orange balls. <laughs> At least they weren't blue. Oh. True. All right. There okay. All right. So, so Stevo, you, you've got interesting stories about the beach. That's kind of like your stomping ground. No. No. Not. I mean, the beach. The beach. The beach. I have, I don't know what you're making up. The beach. I've had many stories. Like, hear me now. You know, I have one. I have. Uh, I have one story about the beach. Okay. Apparently, this is the second one because we heard the other <laughs> one. So, uh, all right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Points. Yeah. Yeah. We're not talking about swingers this time. And me. But was my, it at me the naked beach. with two people? Huh? No, it was at the beach. The beach. The beach. I went to uh, I went to Padre one time and we were hanging out. I, I, I hang out with so a couple like like they're like they're like they were younger. I was like eighteen at the time. Okay. I was eighteen. I don't think I've ever heard the story. Let's see yeah. where we're going with this. Yeah, okay. I, 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 went, I was I was eighteen and I remember being like I was like I I, I got my dad to buy me beer. And I, was, I, was, I was I was with a bunch of As it how was that be. how is that any different than be. last week? That's like or a two rite of passage. Ago, yeah. That's well, like my I mean, dad has to buy you your first beer. No, not the first beer. It was. Oh, uh, what it was, was the just, first beer? Shit. It was shit. The first day apparently was shit. It was shit. It was just hot. It was in the trunk. Like, whatever. <laughs> Did I fuck you up with that one? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I, I, I remember, like, uh, I was young. And I remember I had beer, and I took beer with the uh, random... But they were, like, they were, they were kids. They were, like, 17-year-old kids. I was, I, was, I was 18, so it didn't really matter. And I remember we were all drinking at the, the beach. And I remember, like, fucking... 
having no no like you know like no like no problem. I was like, fuck it, let's drink. And and then the cops showed up and shit and like like they fucking like they, they busted a party, like and I was like, Oh shit. And they were but you were underage too, right? Yeah. No, I just I, I So what did you do? Did the cops fuck with you? I just fuck I just fucking uh, I messed up uh, uh, I was 21 to do at the time yep okay this went from a fun podcast to what sounds like a confession this is this, interesting this, this just changed the real world yeah no shit oh man I was 21 so we'll just leave <laughs> <laughs> We'll just we'll, leave. We'll switch it out. We'll, we'll just we'll, leave it we'll, at that. We'll Steven, on. you're gonna be in uh, Brownsville. What day? What was the uh, the information on that show? July 10th. Uh, July 2010th. Can we pause it? No. No, we can't. R- R- RGB down in the Rio Grande Valley. McAllen, West Lago, Far. Uh, which, which, which one of those? Yeah, no, it's Brownsville, Texas. Okay. At, at the bar. L- Brownsville, L- Texas, Brownsville, at Texas. the bar, and that is uh, what day was that? Sunday. This Sunday? Not this Sunday. Sunday, but, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> but July 10th. That's July right. There we go. 10th. Sunday, July, July 10th. 10th. There we uh, go. The bar down in, in uh, Brownsville, Texas. Uh, all the people in the valley go check out Mr. Steven's stuff. So he's a funny motherfucker. And, uh, he's, and he's, uh, he might hit the beach. Yeah. The it, 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 Who would? It, it's, a, it's a possibility. So you yeah. might get a show and an after show. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there, there you go. go. Oh, there you no, go. there should be the show. And there should be an after show. Okay. So show and then an after show. Be prepared with after hours drinks. Yep. All right. What we're gonna do now is actually move on to our second guest, which uh, is a, a very funny guy, and he's a great storyteller. He started doing stand-up comedy here in Laredo, and uh, I love this guy. He's actually he's a really good friend. I've known him for the longest time, uh, Mr. Fred Big Mac. I, yeah, I don't know if that's the name you want me to go with. Big Mac is completely fine with me. Jesus Christ, Steve-O is so much skinnier than I <laughs> No, the, that's just the way the chair is made, you know. Uh, you're good, you're good. It's either that or I'm going to have a floor in there. Okay. No. And uh, Fred's Plugs, remember, you can catch him with us. We're going to be doing comedy at uh, Cold Brew, May 29th. We're looking at July 21st on the Rocks downtown, so go ahead and make sure you... You guys check that out, and uh, Fred. Okay, I'm I'm trying to uh, figure out what to talk about with Fred, and because he's got some great stories about airline travel, but I would prefer you come out and see him live, and hear 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 him talk about that. Actually, I have a. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a fucking I'm gonna surprise you on left field with this one. Uh, I have a story where Fred pounded a bunch of four locos. God damn it. <laughs> God and damn my it. brother little, said goodbye to him, there. which is yeah. the darkest fucking thing I've ever heard. <laughs> but basically, we were at a party. And some, at the, at the risk of sounding offensive, some bitches showed up. You know, you know, click, 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 clop with the big high fucking heels. The and clackers. They're, they're, the, cla- the clackers. clackers. The cla- the is that a thing? I, yeah, apparently, yeah. yeah. I don't say it. Did you it, invent it, it, something it, it, right now? We're I, doing I ha- could've, I could've hashtag the, clackers. The, 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 All right. Hashtag clackers. Toss me a secret. I remember this hashtag story. Clackers. Hashtag clackers. Hashtag clackers. Hashtag clackers. Clack, clack, clack. That's what we're going clack, with. Clack, clack. Okay. All so right. the, these chicks show up with clackers. with uh, four locals, and we're oh. we're in there, and we're and we played a great game that night. Hide the beer bottle. Uh, which doesn't sound as it's not as dirty as it sounds. Mm, we'll get know. into that. It, it kind of reminds me of like the, I don't know some sausage <laughs> salami. Okay, 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 uh, okay you uh, want me? You, let, let's let's right, let's let, hear let, Fred's let's side hear, of the story. Hear, okay, where, where, where does this go? First off, you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so at the start of this, <laughs> shut up, dude. <laughs> at the start of this night, it was real early when we got together. It was like ten o'clock in, in ten o'clock at night. So we early. got there. We got there early. That's, that's we were there early. probably at eight. That's early. Uh, let's say eight. I don't remember. All right, okay. It was okay, fucking so early. Okay. Let's. Is. We've established that. I, mean, I remember. <laughs> I showed up with a forty of Mickey's because I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't balling with the monies. 
So right. I was poor as hey, fuck. All right, I, I stole that forty. The, like the yeah. economy goes up and down. Hey, yeah, yeah. Obama, feel you. Obama fucked me on a job, but that's there you <laughs> go. The point. You know, so apparently I, he fucked a lot of hey, people. Hey, Clinton so, did that shit to a lot of people. Don't worry about it, dude. Treat me totally did. Clinton did, did, did FaceTime so, with you know at least one person. Face, he FaceTime. He FaceTime. He FaceTime the fuck out of real life. No pun intended. Anyway, so I drank my forty fucking quick because. I didn't want to seem like the only drunken asshole who was, like, fucking drinking a fucking 40 of, like, a piece of shit alcohol. So I slammed... It was a, a fucking 40 of Mickey. So I slammed right. this 40 of Mickey. And then George he tells... He slammed Mickey down. Yeah. I, <laughs> I beat go. the shit out of Mickey that night. That's right. So <laughs> George... Did he have an Italian accent or something? <coughs> uh, no, but he was training Rocky at the time. Oh, so. there you go. So there anyway, go. so George yeah, is like, yeah, yeah. Fred, don't even worry about it. There's a shit ton of beer in the fucking fridge. I was like, baller. So me and George start fucking slamming beers with uh, Chuck and uh, fucking, I can't remember the name of the other singer from that band. But the point is... Daniel. Was, yeah, Daniel. There, there we go. go. We started slamming beers like fucking stupid. So now we're so, partying with a rock band. Yeah. We're like, all right. It's like, there we go. Yeah, like, we, we like to drink. They drink professionally when they're there not on go. stage. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, there we go. So we started slamming beers and much later at night, these random bitches show the clackers. up. Clackers. Hashtag clackers. Ladies, let me explain something. There's a complete difference between a woman and a bitch. And if you don't know what the difference is, you're probably a, a bitch. bitch. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so these bitches All show right. up with the clippity clop four horsemen <laughs> fucking bullshit. They Arn Anderson tagged a bitch in. Dude, the, when these chicks showed up, they were already wasted. They were walking like toddlers. Look, get like... <laughs> yeah. get, they yeah. really were. They yeah. really were. The, the, the ankles were like breaking yeah. and shit. Yeah. Get, get a bunch of three year olds and have them. Yeah. Dude, get a bunch of three year olds and have them walk in a straight line. They're fucking crisscrossing. Their heads leading this way, heads leading that way. That's what they were fucking doing. So George and I are the older people at this party. We walk by. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thanks for making this yeah. old. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you're welcome, asshole. I didn't want to tell this. <laughs> So we we locked eyes instantly, and we knew these bitches, bitches are here for the beer, and not that's these all. ladies. No, no they were not ladies. ladies. Yeah. They were not ladies. It wasn't it's ladies. ladies. Not, they weren't, you know, yeah, they weren't were there to make so shit feel right. Okay, so I'm a fat guy, as you can tell. I got a no, cake here, not a six pack. You're just husky. Uh, not even close. <laughs> Anyways, so you, everyone knows those bitches in fat bitches like in that. in the oh uh, they're striking those, oil those like super tight spandex. Shit, where they like they have a butt, but it's all heels, and then the gut goes faster than the butt. We oh, call it. Uh, we, 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 we call that a tootie because you got the booty, and then the second one, <laughs> <laughs> the tootie. <laughs> So and, we, and we're not hating on big girls. No. Hey, big girls, you're, 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 you're there. You're there. You're there. You're, 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 you're you're stay you're, there. Just you're take rocking. it. Like, rock, rock. You're rocking that yeah. confidence. Hey, rock you, it. Baby girl, you rock, rock that tootie. You, you rock it. that tootie. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So me and George lock eyes, and we're like, these bitches are strictly for the alcohol. Ain't nobody getting laid. Mm. No one's catching a Steven Sosa swing or uh, mm. dick sucking. No. Every mm-hmm. like we knew mm-hmm. they're there for the water burger. The after. rock stars and the younger assholes are like, bro, they're these bitches. Let's give them beer. So we're looking like <laughs> motherfucker. Mm-hmm. So I started slamming beer faster because I'm a poor bastard and I can't hey, afford hey, more gonna, beer. Hey, you're gonna take it down. So one of the rock stars, it's his birthday, Julius the oh, the, yeah, the Jew yeah. Lion. Yeah, what's up, Julio? Yeah, what's up, Julio? So they came up with this brilliant idea of we're gonna ice him. <laughs> do, do you all know what an icing is? An icing is when you pretend to be, let's say, puking. Homeboy comes up to help you out, and then when he goes down, it's like, oh, you got ice, smearing off ice. Because cheerleader yes, beer, yes, 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 beer yes. or bitch beer, uh-huh, as it yeah, is known, all right, smearing off ice. has a higher alcohol percentage than regular mm-hmm. alcohol. So he slaps this fucking ice out of, I, I can't remember who the fuck, I think it was Ricky. Yeah. He slaps it out of his hand. What's up, Ricky? What's up, Ricky? Yeah. <laughs> slaps it out of his hand so it falls. So then Ricky's asshole bitch ass runs inside and grabs the four loco that this fucking bitch with a tootie brought. <laughs> and he tries to get Julio to drink this. Thing. Yes, that's says, right. No. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh-huh. So I've been slamming beer all night. 
I'm fairly buzzy. I've got a fairly decent tolerance. I've been drinking beer go. all night, ladies and go. gentlemen. I have my fat man over yeah. size beer. No dinner. Hey, wait, we need more beer. Where's it's, the beer? It's a liquid out. Hey, where's the beer? It's a liquid diet. Liquid yes, diet. You know, I don't. I don't eat. Be- I don't eat bread. I drink it. There you go. Yeah. No. <laughs> There's some carbs in that. Hey, we got you. Anyway, he carb loading. He was carb loading that day. So he looks at Ricky, or he looks at Julio. He's like, you got to. You got, you got ice, you got to drink this for loco. So Julio runs inside, and I look at Rick, he's like, bro, I got it. Now, you were there, and you remember this <laughs> fucking vividly. I was like, I got it. No more worry about it. I'll, oh I'll, I'll take one for Julio. So I slammed that bitch. Dirty. Tell me if I'm lying. I slammed it in about three seconds. Nice. Did I or did I not? Nice. I, you, like, you, you, you like totally yeah. opened the throat. I, oh. and just I went deep down. throated that can, and it was ridiculous. <laughs> it was mm-hmm. done. So I put it down, and George is like, that was a mistake. I never had a full of them. So I was like, yeah, whatever, George is full of shit. So, five <laughs> minutes go by. I was scared for his life, yeah, dude. Yeah. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, fuck. Stop, stop. I saw what he did. Like, So five minutes roughly go by. Suddenly, I go from being mildly buzzed. I am beyond... Violently fucking. wasted. <laughs> Violently. I was you beyond like, reason. Dude. You're like, you start turning to Cobra Hulk. I, but here's the problem. For those of you that don't know... When um, Four Locals came out, can you give him a bird? Uh, when Four Local came out, it was like five cups of coffee and like five beers. A little bit of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> and it also, cocaine. yeah. It was liquid cocaine. Yeah, pretty pretty much, much, liquid yeah. cocaine. Pretty much. And yeah. just like Unregulated. Yeah, there you Unregulated. Go. Thank you, sir. Unregulated. And there like a go. smidge of meth. Just, just, <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Yeah, your teeth are going to get fucked up at some yeah, point. Just to fully fuck you up. Yeah, there you go. So, five minutes go by after I've slammed this bitch. I look at George like, George, I'm gone. Dude. And he looked at me and goes, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, so, you loco, man. So, so he's like, just sit down and you're good. I'm like, bro, I've got ADHD. I'm high as shit. Like, I'm hyper as fuck. Dude. <laughs> so at this point. The, the energy drink and that it was like, did you start fucking booze. Uh, dude, no. it kicked in. It was and like, this guy he was, was, like, he was like tapping the table was, three times before dude, he had to take another This drink. guy was what? super aware. There yeah. was no <laughs> sit down and relax. Here, no, he was <laughs> fucking <laughs> here's the, on all senses. On. Here's the problem, ladies and gentlemen. I suffer from this little fucking thing called ADHD. I was too hyper to sit down, <laughs> but I was way too fucked up to be standing. It's <laughs> what ended up happening. You're like that two-year-old. So I'm like... leaning against this table. Yeah, he's walking like a toddler now. Yeah. He's leaning with I'm, his head. Dude. I'm walking like a bitch with a tootie for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> My foot's clomping and shit for no reason. He turned into a cat And, George, and George, hey, he was wearing sneakers. And this is the first time that George's ever done that. He legit's like, are you okay? <laughs> and, and I'm like... I'm fine. I'm completely okay. So why 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 why, why, why would you, why you say that? that? What's going on? Don't smoke, ladies and gentlemen. It's terrible for you. Nah, don't smoke. Don't smoke, people. Yeah. So, but if, but if right. you have them, smoke them. So I'm gone. I'm done. So, and some guy showed up. I still do not remember his name. I know him as Jack Daniels. Yeah. Oh. You I yelled did. at him, Jack Daniels. The reason that I he's call related, him... Yeah. He's related to Jim. Yeah, Jim Bean. Yeah. yeah, yeah the go. reason I, I call yeah. him Jack Daniels is because earlier in the night, the guy had a bottle of Jack. There you so, go. So, like I said, I'm donezo. <laughs> I look at him, I'm like, Jack! Get the liquor! And he's like, <laughs> what? Like a robbery yeah. or some <laughs> shit. Dude. Get the fucking liquor! And he's sitting there like scared. He's like, yeah, bro, hold on, I'll get it. I'm looking at George, and George is sitting there just like, no, dude, you don't, don't do that. Goes, but he's no, not. But he's not. But just stop. Yeah, dude, but just stop. But fuck George, because yeah, he's not being like no. Yeah, he's fuck just George. I was sitting there. Half of me is thinking like this is wrong, and the other half of me is like this is gonna be great. Yeah, Let's yeah. see what happens. We like, have a show. <laughs> we got a show going. We're gonna talk about <laughs> yeah. this in a podcast yeah, six years from now, dude. Here we are. So we're hanging out with rock stars. Julian. Daniel, Chuck, and Ricky start grabbing this liquor bottle, and I'm like, "Oh, fuck you, bitch! You ain't skipping me." <laughs> <laughs> so I'm grabbing. I'm this part of the band. Yeah. Fuck drink this. Drink. Yeah. So, uh, I've been to every one of your shows, motherfucker. <laughs> like, I'm not part of this band. Nobody is. So I start. I, I steal this bottle. I want to say it was from Daniel, and I take like a good five second chug from this bottle. Big. Give it back to fucking Daniel. Daniel grabs the ball and is like, are you okay? He's like, I'm fine, pussy. Grab it again. Take another big chug. 
I give it back to Daniel. Daniel takes a chug and he looks at me. He's like, Fred, I'm kind of drunk. How are you? I was like, I'm fucking fine, bitch. I'm and good. I stole it from Chuck. I took another fucking chug of this bottle. I'm donezo. I've I've been I've been gone. Like yeah. you're like Jesus himself could like, not sober me up. Like, is what I'm saying. Oven was preheated. You were cooked. I was beyond, dude. There like you, you know how they had, they had that fucking joke that says like how do you know when the, like Jesus burnt the black first black person and threw him aside said fucking he's done. I was cookeder than that motherfucker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're going there. Yeah. We're going there, folks. Hey, no. I, I, I got a hood card from New York. I'll show it to you. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, like, I'm done. I'm done. I've been chugging Jack because I'm stupid. I chugged a four local because I'm fucking retarded. And I've been drinking beer all night because fucking George told me it was there. Dude. So, at some point, uh, I was like, I've got to go home. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. There was, there, was a little, there was a little spot. And you had a great fucking was, line. I will always segue. remember this. Oh my god, yeah, I remember. A segue there. Can I say this line? <laughs> yes. I grabbed this beer can, this beer, whatever. It was Bud Light. It was, it was Bud, Bud Light. I'm looking at it, and George has been looking at me drinking. This, like, this beer isn't sobering me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, what? And Fred looks at me, he's like, it's supposed to be light. I, I was like, I was like, you're drinking beer. And he's like, yeah, but it's Bud Light. One of these is bound to sober me up. <laughs> And I thought about it for a second, and I was like, well, it's pretty much water, so, yeah, yeah, like, yeah it yeah, makes yeah, sense, cool, yeah, well, like, one of those is going to sober up. We got to trade a thing If you right pound there. enough water, you'll fucking sober up, and you'll be cool. <laughs> so, uh, in my head, I'm like, Bud Light, eh, you'll be all right. Like, he's sobering up, not realizing he's fucking wasted. And now, he's got to go home. <laughs> Once a fucking again, why George is an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> So at this, at it's it's sort of the end of the night. All the fucking tooties have gone home. I, you the, know the clackers are gone. They're gonna go get water burger and fucking like, yeah. The, I believe the the go to was like taco palenque at that point. Anyway, oh, there we go. So like, uh, I'm like fuck it. I gotta go home. So I'm trying to get my key in my door. And I'm like it's not fucking going in. Is this the right key? Whatever. And then Chuck comes up to me real silently. He's like Fred, Fred. He's like what's up, dude? He's like that's a mailbox. <laughs> I was like, I look at it, like, no, it's not. It's my car. And I look at it, like, oh shit, it it's is a, a mailbox. fucking mailbox. So, Chuck very graciously turns me around <laughs> to where my car is. <laughs> I open my car, as far as I remember, and with one stamp, he made it back to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 as far as I remember, here's how this goes. I remember going down the road and then being like, no, this is a dead end. And turning around and going... Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Real quick. I don't know if you know this part of the story, but... So Fred's getting in his car and he's leaving and my brother Chuck walks up and he shakes Fred's hand and he hugs him. Yes, right! (laughs) He hugs him and Fred's like, good night. And Chuck tells him, goodbye. (laughs) And we were like, oh, fuck. Like, okay, real quick. Back porch stories does not condone drinking and driving. Absolutely However, not. don't do it. Driver. Don't do it. It's fucking stupid, and you're going to cause damage. Don't fucking do it. That being said, this we're crazy. letting Fred drive home drunk. <laughs> and Chuck hugs him and says, goodbye. And we're all sitting there going like, that's fucking horrible. Just offended like a bunch of fucking liberals. We were just offended <laughs> bad. We're going to build a wall. We were offended. And then Chuck turns to us and he's like, nah, fuck you guys. Because I'm going to be the only one that said goodbye. And all of you are going to be guilty. And we're like, oh, what <laughs> the <laughs> fuck? He it out. Here's the best part. That was methodical on that. Here's, what the hell? That was dark methodical the, type shit. Here's the best part of that. So the next day, like, I get home. I, first off, when I get home, I don't remember opening my door. I don't remember going inside. We've all been there. I remember looking at my toilet, throwing up, and then I remember waking up, sitting up, and wondering, why the fuck am I in front of my toilet? <laughs> <laughs> I wake up again, I'm in bed, I run to my toilet, puke. The next day, uh, Daniel, shouts out to Daniel, very nice guy. What's up, Daniel? <laughs> yeah. Messages me, he's like, dude, are you alive? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm alive. So I called Daniel up. I was like, yeah, I'm alive. What the fuck? He's like, you don't understand. Chuck said goodbye to you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, 
I was like, what the fuck? He made his peas. He made his persinol. I was like, why are you shit? God damn. The best part. So I'm like, you said goodbye. And he's like, yeah. When we all looked at him and said that was fucked up, he's like, you all don't understand. Fred's going to go home and die. And I'm going to be the only person who said goodbye. Fuck you guys. I'm thinking ahead. He fucking, he fucking, he, that night he scratched the winning lottery ticket and he made it home. <laughs> so, so don't drink and drive because no, don't Lord do that. knows That's how the fuck it is. No, no, yeah, no drinking and driving. <laughs> like, I, I, I like to joke around with my family members who were like when I was an alcoholic because I was an alcoholic at some point, ladies and gentlemen. It sucks to do that. No. No, not at all. It's usually girls that start that shit. Yes, it was. Anyways. <laughs> There's a great story I'll tell after this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't <laughs> wait for this one. Okay. Right. So, for that one. Go take a leak. All right, okay. So, so, so what we got? So don't don't fucking drink and drive. It's it's terrible. I don't know how I got home. I like to say that my fucking my uh, guardian angel is made of stone and has a stress problem because of the stupid shit that I've done. So um, the next day was probably the worst hangover I've ever had and a friend of mine sent me to a YouTube video on the Four Loco shit where they, they where I saw Jesus yeah I, I saw that it's legitimately it, it, it had four, five, four or five cups of a caffeine of coffee and then like four or five cups or, or four or five bottles of beer and then it has like six times the calories of a Big Mac so I'm full and I'm drunk <laughs> And I'm hyper. I didn't know you were going with that. Shit. All right, so I'm full. All right. Yeah, I'm full. I'm hyper. I'm drunk as shit. So when I'm driving home, like I'm not fucking thinking about food. I'm thinking about I need to fucking pee. I need to sleep or puke or one of the two. Mm-hmm. So when it comes to the I need to sleep or puke or stay up for like two days. <laughs> one like. of the two things. Uh, <laughs> so like when it comes to like those drinks, and ladies and gentlemen, I'll, I'll absolutely say it. Fucking stay the fuck away from those. Because when you're drunk, you want to eat something. You don't want to eat something if you're full. <laughs> so you're drunk as shit, right. you're hyper, and you don't want to fucking touch these. Going back to this other story, spitball. Going back to this other story with my girl, one of my ex-girlfriends. Uh, one of them, all right. One of my ex-girlfriends. Going, and I'm going to touch on steve swinger story. Okay. S- stick with me, this is great. So one of my friends was having a birthday party. Okay. My boy's name, he's going to be a comedian one of these days. I'm helping him work a skit out. His name is CJ. All right. CJ, what's up, CJ? Uh, we call him Chunky Johansson, CJ. <laughs> he's a big guy. He decided one day for his birthday that he was going to go drink for drink with me. I've got a fairly high tolerance. Yeah. My DNA just so high. I was going to say, not a good idea. Not a good yeah, idea. No. Mm-mm. My tolerance, uh, especially with tequila. Tequila just happens to be part of my DNA. My mm-hmm. grandpa was an alcoholic with tequila. My mom was an alcoholic with tequila. My dad was an alcoholic with tequila. His mom and dad were alcoholics with tequila. So it's just part of my ingrained DNA. If they mm-hmm. were to take my DNA apart, tequila would be in there. So my friend, uh, Ashlyn, bought me a bottle of tequila for that party. He's like, hey, Fred, you like tequila? Have yourself a bottle of tequila. He's like, oh, sweet. My boy CJ, Chunky Johansson, decides, I'm going to go shot for shot with you, Fred. And I looked at him and was like, boy, that's a bad idea. And the reason this was a bad idea, ladies and gentlemen, is because he liked to drink a dr- he likes to drink a drink called the Bacardi 151. Okay. I don't know if y'all know this, but that's like double the fucking proof of tequila. Flammable. Flammable. There you go. It is okay. 100% flammable. So my boy CJ is telling me, he's like, I'm going to go drink for drink with you. I'm going to be drinking this. You drink your tequila. If you drink a beer, I'm drinking a beer. And I'm sitting there like, bro... Legit, man to man, bro to bro, that's a bad fucking idea. That's a bad fucking idea. I should be drinking two shots to your one. Nah, you're full of shit. You're just want to call me a bitch, whatever. So he's gonna go drink for everyone. So I grab a beer. Don't smoke. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I grab a beer. He grabs a beer. Okay. I have my bottle because I don't drink. I never drank tequila out of a fucking shot glass or whatever. I drink from my bottle. I drink from my bottle. He drinks from the bottle. And I'm like, bro, that's, you need to stop. Go <laughs> All right, so, settle down, Todd Gurley. Relax. <laughs> like. Hey, Todd Gurley is the best running back in the league. Anyways, <laughs> so uh, he gets done. He gets done. He gets me on Four Loco gone. 
Uh-huh. Okay. I'm pretty buzzed. And I'm pretty buzzed because I've been drinking tequila and I've been drinking beer all night. But this guy just can't handle it. He, he can't, can't he, he can't hang with you. To, to begin with, C, CJ, Chunky Johansson, has a low tolerance. I'm like eight. That's a drag. Oh, yeah, it sucks. <laughs> I'm like eight drinks into my bottle, which means he's eight drinks into his 151. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm like four or five. Yeah. 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 That, I love it. He yeah. joined that story halfway yeah. through, and he's like, "Dude, fuck no, that!" Yeah, like, that, okay, that, that, that took the wrong highway. Yeah, he did. And, I, and to be fair, like, like we, uh, like I told him earlier, I told him not to do that. But that's his point. That's it. That's his point. That's his thing. He, he made, made a decision. He, he and I were after this girl. And again, I digress. Were you chasing her? It was, sounds like you were chasing her. I was chasing this bitch. <laughs> there we go. She's dating a guy named Robert. Her name is Julia. Oh, okay. So she's taken. All she's right. taken. All right. The way I look at it is I'm not a selfish person. <laughs> you know what I mean? I <laughs> share. <laughs> anyway, so he's been chasing this bitch. I didn't know that. She was a complete bitch, by the way. And for whatever... Clap, clap, clap. And, and to be completely honest, like, sober, sober eyes, I don't know why, that's what she looked like. <laughs> I don't know if George saw that, but this is this is exactly what she looked like. She was oh stick shit! But, yeah, but you were like like four locals in, so like Ex- everything looks good. I was a lot in this. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so like one thing I loved about this woman is she was always drunk. So she saw me with the beer goggles on. She thought I was ah, hot. Ah, there you go. So anyway, so her boyfriend is here. Uh, her boyfriend, like I said, his name was Art. CJ's talking to her the whole night. I'm talking to my friends. We're laughing, drinking, chugging, having fun. I get gone, so I turn over to look at my boy, and my boy's just sitting there looking at her, and he's just like, and they're talking. giving her the eyes. Not even. It, it was the, like the one eye. It was like he the, was the look, one good eye. It was like he was looking at her, but she wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> Those glasses <laughs> over. So that's a mirage. So he's sitting back like this in his chair, and then like they talk about something to work, work because they have a very similar job. And he leans forward, and he's like, <laughs> no gag. Oh. <laughs> and just starts spewing. This, oh. The best way I can describe this is it looked like you grabbed the sediment from the Rio Grande. In like oh, that, Jesus! In like that green shit, gross water oh, with like fuck. with like decaying body parts or whatever. It's just and it's just coming out. <laughs> so one of our friends, Drew, who's studying to be a paramedic, is like, bro. He's going to asphyxiate. Choke. I was going to say he's going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, fuck. That would have made the story way better. <laughs> <laughs> so my boy Chuck, he's like, Chuck. My boy Drew is like, bring his head back. He's sitting up. He just like that? Just pull the he hair and straight back? back. Like, so he's like, Bleh. and it's coming down his face. Ah. So, I it was like wouldn't before. you choke? On your puke? Yeah. Like, it's funny. That's when fucking you, John Bonham, dude. It, it, it is. And I'm pretty sure Drew would have known this if he were so <laughs> <laughs> Again, we don't condone so Ashlyn, drinking that much. Yeah, we don't. And Ashlyn yeah. and myself were like, no, stupid, he's going to choke. So we bring his head forward. Like, stop it forward. So he comes <laughs> forward. Bam, and he's right. like, no, we got to bring his head back. No, bring it forward. No, This has turned into a Three Stooges yeah, uh, skit. He's just yeah. fucking banging his head on the fucking pavement. All right. <laughs> the worst part <laughs> is this is a completely <laughs> true story. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have a rooster tail of puke, just like, Bleh. Bleh. Oh. and it's just going, <laughs> and going, <laughs> and going. So, like I said, I'm gone. And I'm like, ah, ha, ha, you're puking. My, my girl Ashlyn and her fiance used to live on the second story. So huh. she's like, fuck you, Fred, you drunk bastard. And she shoves me out of the fucking room because I'm laughing at this guy while he's, like, <laughs> essentially dying is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Always fun to laugh at. Yeah. All right, I got you. Like, he survived. It's funny. He, he, you got to find the positive. Somewhere. Exactly. So she somewhere. shoves me out. I'm like, ha, 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 ha. And I hit the rail. I'm like, ha, ha. Oh, I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> so I grab this rail and I'm freaking the fuck out. So like, I bring myself back up. I was like, whoa. I legit almost died there. Ha, 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 ha. This shit's funny. So I hear from inside. I hear Julia, the girl we've we both been after that I didn't know he was after. Uh-huh. She's okay. like, I want to help! And then there's a crash, a stumble, a oh, laugh. Fuck, and then she almost off. died. <laughs> so, when I got shoved out, Ashlyn started mop- mopping up the puke. Oh. <laughs> and Julia knocked down the puke bucket. Oh. <laughs> so the puke bucket. Double puke. 
Yes, double puke duty. So the puke falls down. Ash, uh, Julia's in it. Ashley throws her into the bathroom, washes her off because she's drunk as shit. <laughs> uh, Robert, her boyfriend, comes out and he's sitting there like. It, 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 all it takes is that one person to start. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 the yeah, chain yeah. reaction. So I'm looking at him, he's like, Are you okay, dude? Like, what's going on? And he's like, it's, There's puke everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, it's I know. not all mine. Right? <laughs> yeah. 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 It wasn't me. So I was like, Yeah, I know there's puke everywhere. So I sent my boy Nate in. I was like, uh, Straight at, Nate. At, straight Nate. Straight at, Nate. At Ashley's fiance is like, Can you grab me a beer real quick? Nate knew I was after this girl. Okay. And we're, this is where we're, we're tying into Steve-O's uh, uh, swinger story. Stick with me. I know it's a little long-winded, but it's there. So he goes in to get me a beer. Julia comes out with a blanket, sits next to me where I'm sitting outside. Well, what's she doing with the blanket? Is she, like, is she I, holding it or is she covering she, herself? Well, what is she, 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 came out, she came out just holding it's it. kind of cold. Right? She, she was they, shivering they, from they, like, throwing up. You know, they, really ha- they really had. She wasn't yeah, throwing yeah. up, but she was covered in vomit, so... Oh. Ashlyn threw, <laughs> Ashlyn threw her in the, in the tub, like or in the in the shower, and rinsed her off. So she's sitting outside. It's the fucking middle of February, but in so the hotel, it was a, their apartment complex. Oh, there so you I'm go. sitting down outside call. their apartment complex, having a cigarette, waiting for my beer. Julius like sits next to me and leans up against me and throws a blanket over her. Like she grabs my arm exactly oh. like that. Exactly. Now, like now stay there. So she grabs my arm and puts <laughs> it here. So, um, so I'm, 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 this time feel good. Okay. Yeah. So, All right. so, so okay. I'm looking at her like, Mimi's. I'm looking at her like, so we in the podcast? I mean, <laughs> you guys are gonna just do that. Let's right, like, right, call right. it. All right. Okay. I, need, All right. I need this. this All right. I need this. So I need, need this. 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 Part of the <laughs> so, so I'm in character. So I'm like, I'm like, you know, she grabs my arm, puts it here, and I'm like, okay, Julie, it's cool. Your boyfriend is right there in case you need anything. What boyfriend? I'm drunk as shit. I'm seeing two or three of these motherfuckers. Oh, you're seeing Hit so one in the middle, go. right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> so the only thing going through my mind is like, this motherfucker's going to see me and fuck me up. So she's sitting Not here. Not in a good way. So she's sitting here like Not this. She grabs my hand and she puts it right on her titty under, oh. under the blanket. Oh. Under the blanket. There, there, there. So I'm like... Under the blanket. Under the blanket. Oh, okay. Wow. So, but it's, it's, that makes a difference. Intense. No, that's it's, intense. Okay. It's still pretty fucking visible, though. Ah. So I'm like, ah, oh, it's cool, because Julia. You got big hands. Like, mm-hmm. if, you're, if you need anything, Jules, your boyfriend is right there. Like, I'm making this apparent. What? He's the right fuck? there. But the hand didn't move. No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> it absolutely if, if, did not. If you get a free cup, Absolutely, yeah, you take it. Yeah, you take so, it. So, like, my boy Nate walks out with my beer, and Robert looks looks me dead in the eye. I've got my hand on his chick's tit. And he says, bro, if anybody could fuck my girl, I'd hope it's you. Oh, what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Why? So, there we go. So, I'm like, I'm holding his chick's tit, and I'm just like... I'll get right to work on that. Right <laughs> on I'm, I'm on it, boss. So it's like, I'm like, I'm like, what? And I turn to look at Nate, and Nate's like, and walks right back inside. <laughs> so I'm like, what the fuck just happened? So he's like, I'm just gonna leave it at that, and he walks in fucking side. So I'm like, um, like, what do I do here? So she looks at me and she's like, Well, do you want to? And I was like. Absolutely. Uh, you smell like fucking vomit. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my swinger story. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's been a great episode. The first episode of Back Porch Stories, Mr. Fred Big Mac. He had great fucking stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. fucking Steven Sosa, who was on here earlier. Steve, you can't, they can't see you, but say hello. Say, yeah. There you go. And, uh, wow, that, that's amazing. That's what you can expect from uh, this podcast. Uh, back porch stories, just a bunch of guys, funny guys, telling fucking stories, drinking fucking beers. Uh, real quick, plugs, Mr. Steven Sosa, Sunday Night Laughs, uh, July 10th, The Bar in Brownsville. Going to be hosted by Mario Superstar Salazar and uh, guest performances by uh, Sonia Trevino, Steven Sosa, you know, Big O. And uh, your headliner, I can't pronounce that, so I'm not even going to try. Also, remember, uh, we got shows coming up uh, here locally in Laredo. And as soon as I can find my information, I'll let you know about that shit. There it is. There you go. Uh, We got uh, Cold Brew May 29th, uh, July 21st, On the Rocks. And the big show coming up this uh, this Thursday. It's going to be June 23rd, Thursday. 
9652 McPherson Road. That is AJ's Bar. Average uh, the, Joe's. Yeah, Average Joe's. The Unusual Suspect Show. It's going to be myself, uh, Gabby Tijerina, Mario Superstar, Salazar, and Fonchi Herrera headlining the night. Five bucks to get in, nine o'clock. Go ahead and check that out. Like I said, once again, 9652 McPherson Road. Go and check out the show. And remember, you can find us at uh, Facebook, at Laredo Funny. You can find me on uh, Twitter, Snapchat, J A L V Z 2 and uh, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, all that good shit. Hashtag Laredo Funny. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out. Our first episode of uh, Back Porch Stories. I'm going to make him redo that outro real quick. And the only reason I'm going to do that is because you have got to support local comedy. Because this city's fucking hilarious whether you like it or not. Oh, yeah. So once again, go ahead and do your outro. <laughs> now, thank you for wrapping that up. Thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, if you like it, check us out on uh, all social media, hashtag Laredo Funny. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys. Good night.